I just built this bunker, and these two people who have never met each other are going to attempt to live down here for the next 100 days. Take your blindfolds off. Hugo, this is Rain. Rain, Hi. this is Hugo. Nice to meet this you. This is our first time ever meeting. And this is the nuclear bunker they will call home. Everything you would need to live for the next 100 days is in this bunker. Dang. You can even grow your own vegetables. Oh, cool. And if you come over here, you'll find your bedroom. All 40 feet underground. Wait, what? Oh my god. Above you is a bed. Nice. And here's another bed. And most importantly, over here is your half a million dollars. Dude, it's real. Well, it better be. If both of you stay in here for 100 days, you keep it. But if one of you leaves, you both get nothing. We are not leaving. 100 days, you could have half a million dollars. Wow. That's so much money. Okay, let's see if they survive 100 days. I can't believe we're actually here. Isn't that crazy? Like, this is our new house. I know. You're my roommate now. We're not gonna see the sun for a hundred days. If we can grow our own food, we're gonna be set. So far, they seem to be getting along. But little did they know, that wasn't going to last for long. You're so stupid. You're a monster. I don't like you, dude. <laughs> hey, hey! We're getting ready for night one. Hopefully we don't fall off tonight. Good night, Hugo. Good night, Rain. Good morning. I will say I don't like that I don't know what time it is. We didn't know each other this time yesterday. Oh, we didn't. And now we're just cooking breakfast. And even though these two literally just met, they're going to have to work together if they want to win half a million dollars. However, like always, there's going to be a twist. That does look a little sus, that little thing right there. Wait, yo, what is that? Why are these boxes locked? I don't know, man. There's something going on here that we don't know about. See this button right here? Don't touch it. It represents the twist of the century, but to find out about that, they're gonna have to wait until day 10. That is, of course, if they don't die from boredom first. What do you wanna do today? I'm gonna learn how to play guitar. Why do I need a radio when I can be the radio? What the heck? Over the next 100 days, I'm gonna learn Spanish. It's our third day in the bunker. Let's go. We're gonna come out so ripped at the end of this. You're my new favorite human in this world. You're the coolest person I know down here. What? And by day four, the challenges of living with a stranger were becoming more apparent. I gotta tell you something. You were snoring bad last night, actually. Sorry. Some earplugs would be nice, but it's okay. If rain ever annoys me, this will just freak her out. Ew. This is our view of the outside. Ew. It's just dirt. So gross to look at. Hey, hey, hey. But since leaving would cost them half a million dollars, they were going to have to make the best of it. I made enough salads for both of us. I am so bored. Today, we're building a throne of canned food. I'm Hugo. I'm Rain. And, and this, this is, is Life, Life in the Bunker. <laughs> <laughs> and once they got to day 10, it was time for my special offer. <laughs> Whoa, it's Jimmy. All right, I think it's time I show you guys the twist of this video. There's two boxes on each side of the room. Yeah, we saw that earlier. What do you think's behind here? A button. Button. Oh my God. A hand scanner. And on the other side, another hand scanner. Oh, and one more thing. A one minute timer. Um, hey Chandler, do the thing. Finally. As you'll see, the timer is now counting down. If you let that timer ever hit zero, your money will instantly be engulfed in flames, incinerating every single dollar of that half a million. To stop your money from burning, you two are going to have to work together. It's pretty simple. Put your hands on those scanners. And there you go, the timer stopped. So, Every single day, at some random time, this will happen. Every single day? Every day. What if I'm showering? I don't care the reason why. If you guys mess up just what? one time, both of you are leaving with nothing. Oh my gosh. See you in a couple days. <gasps> oh my God. I won't be able to sleep comfortably ever. Yeah. For 100 yeah. days. If we mess up one time, we're done. We should move our beds down here. Okay. I still feel this like weight on my chest. Right on their relationship, they moved all their food supplies out of the way to paint a mural for their new team name, the Sewer Rats. Dang, I crushed that. You're welcome. But it wasn't enough, because Hugo was still frustrated that he was doing most of the chores, such as feeding the fish and cleaning their tank. This is gross. Oh my god. And maintaining the garden so they never ran out of fresh vegetables. Yeah, good job, good job. What would I do without Hugo? Die. And on top of that, Hugo had done most of the cooking himself. And since they were eating three times a day, that meant he had cooked over 100 meals for the both of them. 
Oh my god, you're like my own personal Waffle House. Don't disrespect me like that. And while the tension was continuing to grow between them, my day 40 offer wasn't going to make things any easier. And before we go in the bunker, it's time to bring out the sucker. You want one? I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> the money sucker. Oh, okay. To kick off day 40, hey Chandler, do the thing! Chandler and Tariq are currently above ground, vacuuming up $100,000, which you have not lost. We're doing it! It's fucking! And for the next 10 minutes, if one of you leaves, you can walk away with $100,000 they just vacuumed out, and the other person won't be eliminated. But you would be abandoning your teammate to be isolated in this bunker to win the other 450 grand. If one of you want to leave, now's the chance. Maybe I could leave. I do everything around here. I do all the cooking. I take care of the plants. I even entertain you with how bad I am at the guitar. I think I might leave. No, you, you can't. I think I am. We were supposed to be sewer rats together. We can do this, dude. Where's your sewer rat mind, dude? If you want to say yes to the next offer, I'll say yes. Whatever Hugo wants, I'll shake on that. I feel like he's still going to take the ladder. All right. Is either one of you getting $100,000 stuffed in the back of your car right now? I'm going to say no. I'm sorry. I'll go put the 100 grand back in the pot. See you in 10 days then. And even though they ultimately decided to stay together. Now it's day 51, it's the first morning without Ryan. It's so quiet down here now. <laughs> so we just experienced our first 20 second alarm. It was a little scary actually to see the alarm down in the teens. It was scary. Without Ryan bringing peace to the bunker, Hugo and Rain's relationship was beginning to unravel again. I want to make it very clear, Hugo. We don't have a charger for this thing. I'm going to be the only one to drain this battery. I don't get one song. I've given you everything. You get some of my pineapples. You get all the coffee. You're eating my jam right now. OK, OK. Not like I put my hand on the other scanner to get her $300,000. And in an already compact bunker, Hugo needed to find ways to make space for himself. There's some storage space in the floor, and I turned it into a little vibe cave. No girls allowed. Got my snacks, my books, and my couch. Painting with music feels amazing. <laughs> you want to come hang out in my vibe cave? Rain. What the heck? And as the days went on, the tension between Hugo and Rain was causing them to make careless mistakes. I'm going to feed these fish. Morning fishes, come on, time to eat. Hey! Ah! I'm coming! Hey! Go, 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 go! Hey! That took way too long. I'm not about to lose $300,000 because Rain doesn't have her head in the game. I'm starting to forget what my normal life was like. Waking up in the bunker, it's like my normal life doesn't seem like it's a thing anymore. It just feels like it's a never ending cycle. But no matter the case, Hugo and Rain were continuously able to prevent me from igniting their money. So come day 60, I wanted to see if I could at least ignite their greed. Let's see who gets to press the button. I win, no, I win. Oh, jeez. I need to drop something. Do you mind moving really far away? Oh, nice. Sorry about that. For my day 60 offer, I will give you this $50,000 if you let me set off the alarm three times a day instead of one for the remainder of the challenge. Okay. Oh my God. I'll let you two converse. Dude, I really want to do that. It would be cool to do it. But I don't know how likely it is that they just go off back to back like this. That would be yeah. ideal. All right. What are we doing with this $50,000? Am I adding it to your bank accounts or not? No. Really? Take my money and leave. 
I think we made the right choice. We've been pretty uncomfortable, but we don't want to be uncomfortable for too long. 40 days is still a long time. And considering they arrived at my bunker over two months ago, by the time day 61 rolled around, spring was in full bloom, and so was the restlessness. I'm kind of tired of, like, waking up and staying in one space all day. It's now our new normal, and it's now no longer fun. You just don't want to read anymore. Don't feel like journaling. I don't feel like painting. All the things that used to be fun are just boring now. Having shared the same space together, for 60 plus days, Hugo was now becoming addicted to the alone time he was spending in his vibe cave. I'm gonna go hang out in the vibe cave and read. You've been reading all day, Hugo. I think Rain's trying to get a little upset with the amount of reading I do, but I don't want to go up there and do the puzzle anymore. What? He stopped reading for two seconds? I think I'm gonna hide his books. Rain needed to take it into her own hands if she wanted to gain back Hugo's attention. Did you hide me books? Did I hide your books? No. No, I know you're messing with me because I have the other stack of books right there. I thought they were over there. Like, think about it. <laughs> She's starting to gaslight me now. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty upset about it. You started thinking back to Jimmy's offer on day 40. I could have taken that, but I said no because I wanted more money. So just knowing that I have no other choice now because I decided to stay, I don't know if I can make it. After hearing the regret in Hugo's voice, I had an offer on day 70 that would be too perfect for him to pass up. But as always, first things first, we need to press the button. Ooh. You closed it. Oh, wait, what did they you turn do? their lights off. <laughs> Good, how are you? Before I could reveal the day 70 offer, I need to split you up. Hugo, head upstairs. Rain, go buy the money. Time to set up the wall. These curtains are stressing me out. What's going on? What's going to happen? Hey, Carl, go ahead and suck the money up. Ugh, sucking 200 grand! We are currently sucking up $200,000 out of the $600,000 prize pool. And similar to one of my previous offers, if one of you leaves, you get to walk away with 100 grand. I think I might leave you. No, you can't. And one of you can leave and go home right now. You brought the offer back? Yes, but this time you can walk away with a guaranteed 200 grand without eliminating the other person. Okay. But unlike my day 40 offer, I separated you guys so that this time she can't stop you from leaving if you still want to. That's spicy. Oh my God, Jimmy, why you put me through this? You would be doing Rain a favor because now instead of competing for 300 grand, which is what you both would make if you chose to stay, she's competing for 400 grand. So by leaving, you're actually helping her. I do give her 100 grand. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like he might leave. I don't know if I can forgive myself if I said no to 200K. And I ended up losing this challenge. And while they're deciding on whether or not they want 200 grand. It's time for the first button push in over 10 days. The button pressing's back. Did you miss the button? I Surprisingly did. a little bit. Okay, coming down. Here is $100,000 to add to your prize pool. And I'll give it to you right now, increasing your balance to $700,000. And in exchange for this money, I'm actually gonna give you more time on the counter, raising it from 20 seconds to one entire minute. However, once you scan your hands each day, the timer will not reset. And that one minute will have to last you for the last 10 days of the challenge. Okay. We'll give you one minute to think on it. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? It's kind of scary, but... This is a lot of money. Our math is there. We've averaged less than five seconds every time. Every time. All in. All right. Go hard or go home. Go hard or go home. Jimmy, we made our decision. All right. What is your decision? We're going to do yes. it! You sure? Yes. yes. No takes these back seats. Adding it to the money pile. Yes! Ah! Go hard or go home. Jimmy, it yeah. I'll see you in 10 days. Since we officially have $700,000 on the line in only 60 seconds, it's time we redecorate a little bit. We've set up the bunker so we don't have to move more than a foot away from the scanners. We even brought all the food we need over here. We've been in here for 90 days, and it all comes down to this. Let's see how we turn off the alarm from our new seating area. Beep, 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 beep. 1.11. That's crazy. Every second literally counts. And terrified that we would press the button. These two waited by the hand scanners literally all day. And so of course, when we pushed the button, they were ready. Oh, let's go. Holy that was their fastest one ever. Yes. And so they went to bed. But little did they know, it was now past midnight, which meant it was a new day. And all we had to do was wait for them to fall asleep. Ah. 
They were literally asleep and it took them two seconds. They didn't fall for it, but I knew that at some point they were gonna have to use the bathroom. So I waited for the moment when they got as far away from the scanners as possible. Ah, oh, Ray, Ray, the arm. Nice. Nice, dude. You came down there flying. <gasps> All right, I think we can afford one bathroom break. Um, excuse me. Yes? Get back over here. Don't you dare. Get back over here, right. Don't you take a step further, Hugo. Hugo! Come on, 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 come on! That took five seconds. Dang it, that's slow. You're not allowed to use the restroom anymore. I really want that to be the only five second alarm that we get from now on. So no using the restroom tomorrow? We're just gonna have to hold it until the alarm goes off. I'm going to paint a line on the ground so that way he knows his limits. How far he can go, how far he can't go. Here's the line. bathroom rule might have been intense, but for the next few days, the rule actually kept Hugo on track for every day's alarm. But on day 98, Hugo started slipping into old habits. Hugo! How long did that take? 6.01. Hugo, you went over the six second time limit. I mean, I ran as fast as I could. The longest amount of time that we've taken to turn off these alarms is because you're in the bathroom. Do you not see a problem? Do you not see Am it? Am I no longer allowed to use the bathroom ever? Hugo, don't play with it. But I'm not playing with it. I'm just peeing. And through all the tension, Hugo took the next opportunity to speak his mind. Rain showering, and this is the last time I have time to tell you how I feel about her. Unfiltered. It obviously hasn't been easy because she was a stranger at first, and we are two completely separate people. Seriously, I wouldn't choose another partner to do this with. I'm grateful I was put in here with someone who wants to win as bad as she does, and someone that really pushes me to just be the best every day. Hey, dude, that was nice of you. Oh, well, you weren't supposed to hear that. I really appreciate that though like we have gone a lot closer throughout this challenge and both of our just determination to win yeah like as much as like you know at the beginning we we're like mm, like brushing each other off mm -hmm. like not really listening mm -hmm. once we got to know each other it yeah. wasn't us wanting to just win anymore it was like I'm gonna win this for you and I'm you're gonna, gonna win, win it for, for you happy day 100 I'm heading down for the last time unless someone nukes our country 100 days all for this. You both ready? Dude, yeah. We're ready. You sure? We're ready. Go! Yes! Press the button! Dude. A you final ready? one press. All right, y'all take a little too long. You ready? Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Hey, come on, come on. Ready? Come on, you guys. Don't mess this up. This is crazy. This is our first time seeing the sun in a hundred days. Oh, yes, guys. <laughs> oh my God, I've missed you guys so much. <laughs> As promised, here's your 350 grand. And Ray, here is your 300. The tingles, grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr